All right, mate. Let's uh, let's have a look here. You know, a new year is the most important time in the markets. That's when institutions and hedge funds and uh, all the big whales start moving money uh, for the new year. And obviously, then the quarters uh, and new six-month candles are, are the next most important ones. So obviously, we're getting all of those uh, in two days' time, two 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 and a half days' time or whatever. So overall, this is not ideal at this point um, I would still suggest you know we're going to come down and fill this wick um, you know we have this large wick are we are we going to continue to drop or you know it's it's not a great setup like is, is that going to be another red candle back down this you know this is a move up and a rejection and a bark back down in a way if I inverted what does it look like like if, if you've seen this here um, you know it, it, it kind of does imply that we could, there could be more upside here and when, when I say upside obviously I, I mean you know downside is that's inverted but um so it wouldn't surprise me you know uh, but we do need to see how it goes we definitely do need to see how it goes um, the, the thing is there is liquidity you know even if this is bearish like there is a chance that it bounces and then rejects you know so we just need to be aware of that also um, now that that's the interesting one because if I take you to a yearly well that that's this that's the biggest worry for B BTC is the fact that we bounce up take liquidity and then flip red on a year right that's that's the worry for the overall market and um, we we should I was gonna say we will but we should come up here and take liquidity that that's the important point because you know uh, look here when, when we um, took liquidity up here in the wick and then we dropped down flip red well we all know what happened Bitcoin was in a downtrend all year long closed right on the lows but of course that was an amazing opportunity and um, that's what we need to find out we need to see, we need to see are, are we going to get uh, a, another yearly candle another green yearly candle pushing to the upside um, you know or are we gonna take liquidity and roll over so we need to see the problem with having large year years up like this is the fact that it can then maybe start to form out a range for example you know build out uh, whatever something like this and, and before going higher again so that you know that's the I suppose we could draw something like that you know that's uh, I don't know you want to call it a worry or whatever of course it's uh, would be nice if we could just moon all the time but um, unfortunately markets can't always moon but something like this is, it would still be good for um, uh, all coins in a way you know there will be lots of really cheap all coins but of course all, all of that speculation at this point now let's uh, just look at the three month six month actually first so there really is nothing majorly wrong with this I mean I, I, I've seen it time and time and time again when markets do this you know we just continue moving um, do we want to call the parabolic where is that parabolic line I always forget where it is but um, you know do do we uh, it's not, not really fitting very well there I don't know yeah maybe it wasn't a good idea to put the parabolic curve on it um, you know but maybe the larger time frames do need to build out this before going higher on a parabolic curve for example but if we open up you know li like all of these in the past if we open up and start flipping green you know and, and here and here you know we, we need to get on board you just need to get on board and sit back you know and, and have a break even stop um, at the lows because sometimes there is very little wick on a new six month candle and very same for three month candles and yearly candles for that matter so there's something I want to show you here now um, you know you, you, Luna Luna on a monthly chart mm, maybe I shouldn't have done it on a monthly chart but a monthly chart will do fine for now now the thing is when you when you when you get the big drop and you start to bark back up um, this is a drop and it, it's a bit of a bark back up like I mean if you if you see the, this kind of here you know as, as that moves and I'll put another one there just so we can visualize it better and then for example just say we we, we done this but at a later date 
this will look like a U shape, right? If, if we did BART back up, it'll kind of look like a U shape. It's an emptiness in here, and this kind of emptiness, you know, the BART back up. So if if it does start to go green, maybe Bitcoin just does absolutely moon, and we have another yearly candle. So I'm definitely not writing that off that um, that, that we can't have a yearly candle or anything. I, I, I'd be as bullish as the next person, you know, as long as this is, can flip green and stay green. Um, this really could actually make moves and that this would be almost a failed move and you can see on Luna it's a, it's a U shape it it becomes um, a bit of a J hook pattern and, and you start you know you start breaking these highs and, and you know the price absolutely just goes for it so we're, we're kind of in a similar situation here it's make or break time for for Bitcoin and if we do BART back up this can become a J hook almost a J hook pattern or, or a U shape pattern and they can be very powerful so it's, it's just getting to that time now, you know, if we flip green, it's it's very good to get long on this. Of course, if, if we're not green, we're flipping red, we need to be very careful. So we just need to trade it as it comes.